Warning: Title editor should be treated carefully in producing, using, and storing, because the improper handling may cause burning, headache, or coma. I'm Cammy Chill. Just about a few days ago, I made some anhydrous alcohol, and I just want to make some dithyl ether, simply because it looks cool. But anyway, let's first begin with the reaction mechanism. In the strong acidic condition, hydrogen is added to the hydroxy oxygen atom in the alcohol molecule. Then the whole ion attack the carbon atom in another one and form a new ion. It's unstable and has strong tendency to drive away the hydrogen. Therefore, the dithyl ether is formed. So, to provide the strong acidic environment and absorb the produced water, I choose to use the concentrated sulfuric acid and then equal volume of anhydrous alcohol, totally about 500 meters. Since the mixing step would release a lot of heat, I keep the flask with alcohol in icy water, and add the acid slowly by turning on the stop cock of dropping funnel a little bit. After a few minutes, the dropping is over, so I turn off the stop cock and take away the dropping funnel. When the mixture is down to room temperature, I pour all of them into a bigger flask. I build up this reaction setup, then turn on the water pump and the heater. All the dithyl, which is formed in the valley, will immediately vaporize and cool down back to liquid state in the condenser, then flow into the receiving flask. The most suitable temperature of the reaction is from 135 Celsius to 145 Celsius. So I must keep attention on the thermometer. Once the temperature is near 140 Celsius, I should turn on the stopcock of dropping funnel to add alcohol slowly and lower the power of the heater, ensure that it will not produce too much side products. The white film in it is the dithyl vapor. As you can see, the liquid is slowly getting into the receiving flask. What I can do now is simply just wait. A few hours later, the receiving flask is nearly full, and the temperature is also about 160 Celsius. So I exchange the full filled flask with an empty one and turn off the heater to let it cool down to room temperature. After a long time of waiting, all the product is out. What is left in the big flask is simply just some black and dirty liquid. The next day, what I have is some raw dithyl. The impurity in it is actually some acid in alcohol. So, I just wash it with some sodium hydroxide solution and a calcium chloride solution. The former one could react with the acid and produce water while the second one can react with the alcohol and absorb the alcohol. All the clean dithyl will be added to a new flask. All I have to do to clean the mixture of dithyl and water is simply just distillation. So to make it faster and easier, I wrap the glassware with aluminum foil and cool down the vapor with salty icy water. Due to the low boiling point of the ideal, the liquid in the flask started to boil quickly, and the receiving flask got the pure liquid quickly. Since the boiling point of pure dithyl is around 35 Celsius, I choose to collect the pot from 34 Celsius to 38 Celsius. 
and a few minutes later, the temperature climbed to about 38 Celsius. So I changed the recipe flask. What I have now, in theory, is the pure dithio. The density of it is also right. And also it's fun, that can make you have a sound sleep. So... Good night.